Hey guys, what's up? It's TNK Mods here, and I'm here to bring you a cool tutorial on how to, I uh, guess, like, lag out of the elevator in the map 5. So, <clears throat> for this glitch, you're going to need to create your own personal lag switch. So, um, if you don't want to use um, this lag switch for the glitch, or after you're done with the glitch, if you want to go to a public match or a private match and use it on your friends, um, you can... So, I've already tested that, so it works in public, private matches, and zombies. So, but yeah. Um, this is how to make the lag switch part of the uh, tutorial. Basically, you're going to need this program called NetTools5. And I will throw the link in the description for the download. Um, it's a pretty cool program. It lets you do uh, a lot of things with it. But um, basically, when you have the program open, you want to hit Start, Network Tools, and you're going to want to scroll down until you find something called UPD or UDP flutter, sorry. UDP flutter right here. Click it and then it'll bring up this little bar. Now, with this, this is how you create your lag switch. You're going to want to put 27s between each of those periods. Don't delete any of the periods. Just delete the zeros and the ones and stuff and put 27s between each of those. All right? Now that you have three periods and four 27s, you want to copy data, put your cursor in front of it, and just hit Control V a bunch of times until it stops. Okay, now that you overflowed that, take the speed and bring it all the way up to the max right there. And then to start the lag switch, all you do is click Start, and to stop it, all you do is click Stop. And this might pop up for you, just kind of X out of it. I don't know what it's for but whatever so yeah that's how you create your lag switch and basically um, it's pretty instantaneous that it starts to lag so um, now I'll take you to the Xbox part and I'll show you what to do with the lag switch alright so basically from this part um, this is where the lag switch will continue but uh, first off this is kind of funny but, uh, whoever is right now right there, but that's kind of what it looks like on the host screen when you do this but uh, basically the host is going to stand in front of the uh, elevator door switch he's going to start his lag switch first and then he's going to click the elevator button to send the elevator up or down um, so basically the other players in the back will stand against the wall and they will jump up and down um, that's how you lag out this is what it looks like when you lag out Boom, basically you're out and that's pretty much all there is to it um, basically you can't really do much you can shoot through that bottom door as long as the elevator is not there if the elevator is there you can't shoot through the elevator so that kind of sucks but um let's see oh um towards the end of the video i show that you can like go in and out of the elevator it's kind of weird how it happens but um I'll show you uh, in the later in the video, but uh, keep watching to see that um, the first time it happens, the teddy bear girl drags me back into the elevator or glitches me back in. But I'll show you how to pass that, so you gotta watch it for me to go in a second time. And I'll show you, you have done a great deed it. this but, day. Uh, yeah. Basically, um, once the elevator is down, you can't shoot through it. So you want to have your teammate have it up if you want to kill stuff. Um, Oh, you're gonna want because I'm sorry for whoever's watching, but the host cannot get out of this. So, the host is basically your outside connection to the zombie map. So, you're gonna want to have him not die. So, pick a good host who. Unless you want to get yourself in, but yeah. So that's it. I'll let the video play. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. But yeah, see you guys later. Wake up in the morning, feeling like being I'm out the door, I'm about to hit